For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that everyone who believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Okay, guys, so we are concluding. Guys, we are finished. You know, we've been speaking so much about unanswered prayers and we've been connecting them to the blueprint. You know, and I said that in heaven, there is this blueprint. You know, if you go to the book of Revelations, you will often uh, find words such as uh, this was done before the creation of the world, you know. And you're like, what the heck? You know, because no one was, you know, here before the creation of the world. You know, for instance, you'll find that the lamb was slain before the creation of the world. And you're like, what the heck? That doesn't make sense. Oh, it does. Believe me, it does. It means that daddy knew that in Adam's loins, there were two seed and he knew that adam will kill both the sheep and the wolves by obeying satan you understand and daddy knew that adam was going to obey satan because adam was a wolf kind of a, a seed but daddy gave him the benefit of the doubt guess what ah adam went along with his father the devil you understand and by doing so guys he did not only kill the wolves he killed also the sheep that's why you find that both Cain and Abel were spiritually dead. Why? It's because, guys, Adam killed both the wolf and the sheep. Because we know that Cain was a wolf and Abel was a sheep. But Adam killed both. So I was born spiritually dead. You were born spiritually dead. And dead, guess what? He wants back his children. Never stand, guys, in the way of a man who wants back his children. Never stand, guys, in the way of a man who wants back his children. You see, guys, if you go to the beginning, Genesis 3, you'll find that uh, daddy will walk in the cool of the day. And there was a sky also then. But when you read the new, uh, I mean, when you read the book of Revelations, you'll find that in the new earth, there won't be a sky. Because daddy will be living with his kids. Ah, guys, why? Satan's children won't be there. The wolves won't be there. Those who hear his word and disobey it and continue in sin won't be there. So daddy will be living with his kids and Jesus. Guess what? Never stand in the way of a man who wants back his children. That's the only thing he wants because that's what Adam destroyed. That's what Satan destroyed. Daddy is okay if Satan is destroying the wolves only. Because you see guys, Jesus brought the blood and he says, I am willing to die for my sheep. But his blood is also available for the wolves as well because Adam was created spiritually alive even though he was a wolf. You understand? So the blood of Jesus is available for everyone, both wolves and the sheep. But Jesus says, I am willing to die for the sheep. No one is going to snatch them from my father's hand. Oh, guys, no one is going to snatch them from my father's hand. Guys, that is a strong statement. Strong statement, never stand in the way of a man who wants back his children. Jesus, he says, as the father knows me and I know the father, in the same way I know my sheep and my sheep know me and they listen to my voice. You see, guys, just as daddy and Jesus know each other, his sheep and Jesus, they know each other. Ah, guys, never stand in the way of a man who wants back his children. Never stand, guys. You see, I look at this and I look at my Lord. You know, I look at my Lord and in the, uh, there, guys, in the garden of Gethsemane. Ah, guys, you know, that event, guys, I'll always be indebted to my Lord because I always think about that event. You know, when he asked them, can you stay with me? Ah, guys, imagine, guys, the son of man. Guys, the God, guys, Emmanuel, guys, the beloved, guys, the only son, say, can you pray with me? Can you stay with me? Ah, guys, Jesus, guys, was begging them. Jesus, guys, was asking, guys, he's never begged them to do anything for him. But this time around in the garden of Gethsemane, he says, my soul is sorrowful to the point of dead. And he says, can you wait with me? Ah, guys, I think about that and I said, ah, my Lord, that statement, guys, is so strong. Guys, it's so painful. And guys, you see, Jesus, he prays. After that, he says, Father, let this cup be taken away from me, yet not as I will. 
but as you will. In other words, Jesus is quickly realizing that, damn, this prayer I'm praying is not going to be answered because I'm standing in the way of this man wanting back his children. Ah, guys, Jesus was banged. He was banged. He was, guys, ah, 39 stripes going through his back. And after that, he's there on the cross. And he says, Eli, 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 Masabaktan, meaning, why have you forsaken me? In other words, guys, daddy was not even interested in what Jesus was saying. Why? Daddy wanted to make sure that the blood is available so that he can get back his children. And I repeat, guys, never stand in the way of a man who wants back his children. Never, guys. If daddy will allow Jesus to go through that, the beloved, the one who's never done anything, you see, guys, you, maybe you're looking for a girlfriend. Maybe you're looking for a boyfriend. Maybe you are busy with your career. Maybe you are busy planning marriage. Maybe you are busy planning for a family. Jesus never did. He came down here. He was born down here. He never did. Why? He knew that there was a man sitting up there who was compelled by love for his kids. This man said, my son, you're going down there. You're going to give them blood because I want back my children. Never stand, guys, in the way of a man who wants his kids. You know, guys, I see it and I think about daddy and I said, daddy, ah, guys, no, ah, guys, never say, stand in the way of a man who wants back his children. That's the only thing he wants. That's the only thing he wants. You see, if you're a wolf, and I've explained what is a wolf is. A wolf, guys, is one after getting saved or one after hearing the word of God does not get saved or does get saved. But after getting saved, doesn't obey his commands, change his word. Do whatever they want to do. They continue with sex outside marriage. They continue loving money. They continue loving the things of the world. They continue running after riches. They continue with earthly, uh, guys, prosperity. Guys, they continue with whatever they want to do with their plans. But the guys, the sheep, they are exactly like the, uh, their father. And daddy wants back his kids. Daddy, guys, wants back his kid. John, he says, he, he who is born of God does not continue in sin because the seed of God remained in the person. In other words, a sheep, guys, once they know the truth, they get saved. And after getting saved, they never continue in sin. Why? Because the seed of God remains in them. Because they were born sheep, but they were spiritually dead. Guys, you take the likeness of David, of Moses, guys, of Abel, of Joshua, of Caleb, of you, if you obey his commands. And now you know the truth. You've stopped sinning. Why? Because your seed, your seed will not allow you to continue in sin. Why? Because the seed of God remains in you. You are exactly like your father. Which father wouldn't want back children like that? Who, who, guys, tell me which father. So never stand, guys, in a way of a man who wants back his kids. You see, guys, I always give negative advice sometimes. And I say, you know what, if you are a wolf and you are planning, you know, for your life, you're doing your own will, he will never stand in the way of you getting money. He will never stand in the way of you getting the best of the world and be a success story and be a blessed story. He will never stand in the way of you becoming rich. He might even help you. He will never stand in the way of you becoming prosperous and become that career woman and that businessman. He will never stand in your way. He will never. The only time he will stand in your way is when you stand in his way. Never stand in the way of a man who wants back his kids. That's the only thing. Guys, that's why I quoted from this. Because maybe you'll be asking yourself, what the heck does God want from us? He doesn't want anything from you. He wants back his children. He wants back his children that ate them sold to Satan. He wants back his children that were killed by Satan. You understand? We're born spiritually dead because of Satan. So he brings back the blood. And then he says, here's the blood. After that, here are the teachings. Obey my teachings while least you are there on earth. So that after that, you'll come back home. And you live with me forever. Ah, guys. Ah, guys. The man wants to live forever with his kids. I don't know about you. So never stand in his way. If you are not standing in his way, he will not stand in your way as well. You can continue. You know, guys, sometimes we find people saying, you know, uh, because uh, this child, even though I had sex with this boyfriend, you know, or this girlfriend, and uh, now there is a child conceived. 
the mere fact that there is a child conceived, it means that it got will. Even though it's outside marriage, are you joking? No, guys, like seriously, you know, guys, the level of dumbness from human beings, guys, is amazing. Human beings can be so dumb. They will tell you, oh, no, but I wouldn't be pregnant if it wasn't God's will. How? Is he the one who sent you to go and sleep with that man or that girl? Ah, uh -huh. you, you are not married with this person and this person f fell pregnant and you say it's God's will because the child is conceived. You're joking, right? You find guys, pastors preaching riches. Why? It's because they came across riches and they got access to riches. And they said, it's God's will. If it wasn't God's will, I wouldn't be having riches. I mean, seriously, really? Ah, guys, guys, it's okay to be deceived. Pastors are busy deceiving us with riches, earthly blessings, and forever forgiveness. But do not deceive yourself. Do not deceive yourself. You read his word. If you read his word, you will know what he wants from you. You will know what he doesn't want from you. Never stand in the way of a man who wants back his kids. That's the only thing, guys, I'm asking for. The only thing. And guys, uh, I'll tell you that whatever you want to do, he's not going to stand in your way. He's not going to stand in your way. Right now, I'm actually trying to tell you the purpose of the Bible because maybe you don't understand. You're like, what the heck does God want from me? He doesn't want anything from you. He wants back his kids. That's the only thing he wants. That's why I always tell you that the Bible starts in Genesis 1, 2 and ends in Genesis 3 when Adam kills the sheep. And daddy says, Jesus, go down there. You will be, you will be born down there. I want my kids. And Jesus, guys, was banged thoroughly was banged thoroughly, and daddy didn't do anything. Why? He wanted back his kids. The disciples were flogged, were persecuted, were killed. Guys, daddy did not help them, and he would not help anyone. Why? He wants back his kids. That's the only thing he wants. Guys, it's the only thing I'm interested in for that man to get back his children. Never stand in the way of that man. That is a lion. Jesus, guys, is, a is actually a, a lion of the tribe of Judah. Never stand in front of a lion. It will eat you alive. It's, guys, it will devour you. Never stand. So right now, as we are finishing, guys, we are concluding. We've spoken so much about unanswered prayers. And we spoke about the fact that, you know, uh, Herod, you know, tried to stand in his way. And daddy says, I brought you up. To show my powers through you. You understand? And we used Judas as well. And I said, yeah, there was Judas. He said, Judas was brought because Judas, daddy knew that Judas is, is actually a wolf. Jesus kept saying, one of you is a devil. One of you is a devil. So daddy used that. Daddy used the fact that Judas was a wolf in order to get Jesus to the cross. You understand? And he says that I make my plans known in advance. Why? So that you will align your ways with my plans. Because no one is going to stand. You see, guys, whatever you are doing, your prayers will be answered by that man sitting in second heaven with his cohort. If you are praying for riches, earthly blessings, if you are praying for your own will, if you are praying for your career, don't worry. The man sitting in second heaven with his cohort will answer you. And daddy will not stand in your way. The only way he will stand in your way is when you are standing in his way. Because he doesn't care what you want. He won't stand. But you stand in his way. You, you can even die. You can even die if you stand in his way. Now, the reason I'm saying that is that, guys, you see, there are kids, children, and we find pastors preaching all this, their own beliefs, missing together with the word deceiving children you find our parents wanting us to be worldly because it's classy and it's bougie you understand and e e e e e ah guys they are standing in the way of daddy because you see what guys daddy has kids some are still young don't understand this word and you are standing in his way don't stand in his way don't stand in this way. Don't stand in the way of a man who wants back his kids guys that's the only thing I'm willing to say. Don't stand in the way of a man who wants back his children. The only thing he wants is creating this new earth, which he has done, and he wants to live.